Welcome in uh, factory Kubiček balloons and I will show you how to do maintenance of fuel cylinders. Before any maintenance work, I recommend you to use maintenance manual. You can see two different cylinders. Here you can see master and standard. This one it's uh, only with relief valve and here you have pressure regulator and uh, a pure face connector. I will show you how to do maintenance on a liquid takeoff. Now I start with uh, losing four bolts and I will uh, disassemble the liquid takeoff valve. Now you can see the valve is separate from a connector and the body. If we want to do maintenance on the valve, we change these Teflon rings. I check the ball which close the, the valve. Put new Teflon rings. From both sides. And the ball I lubricate with Teflon Vaseline. So now it's ready to be assembled back. You have two options, a Rego connector or Tema connector. The thermal connector is without uh, any changing parts and sealing on and so on. But in a Rego connector you can see two sealing and uh, if it's necessary you can change it. Remember that you have different seating on these parts. There is conical seating and there is different type. So make sure that you put correct connector on the correct body. If you have leaking in connector, you have to change all this part. And uh, the connector is secured by a Loctite. If you need to lose it, you have to heat up this part and after you will be able to lose it and uh, use new connector. Now I assemble the valve together with the uh, connector and this body uh, back on the cylinder. Loctite for securing bolts. Now I assemble together valve with connector. And finish tightening with torque wrench. We do it in the cross direction. So now it's done and I try to move with lever. If you need to replace lever, I will show you how to do it. First you lose this nut. Under nut is securing washer and now the, the lever is outside of the valve. And now if you want to put it back or change it or something else, you have to use new securing washer, put the lever back, securing washer, nut and secure it with the washer. So now it's replaced and it's done. First I will lose these four bolts. I need more space here so I remove the foam ring. And now I can take all gauge outside of the cylinder.
you have to bend a little bit this rod. And pull it out. Now it's uh, outside. Usually when we take out the gauge, we have to replace the ceiling. Now I check the gears, how it's working. And when everything is all right, we can put it back. So first we put new ceiling. Clean the surface, lubricate it with Vaseline. And now we can put it back. First press this part. Now it's inside. Do space here. Bend a little bit. And press in. Now we have to orient it the gauge that the bottom part is moving in this uh, direction on this side of the bottle because on this part there is tube on the bottom of the cylinder. Now I put bolts with Loctite and tie the bolts. In this uh, moment, it's necessary to start with these bolts. In this moment, uh, this, this surface starts to be a little bit tilted, and you can see the rod is moving on the right side. Now I finish tightening the bolts and use the torque wrench. If you have some leaking on a relief valve or adapter, you have to remove it and next, in next step you clean the parts with a brush because there is old uh, ever seal. Now you can see it's cleaned and ready to be wrapped with Teflon tape. Adapter would be prepared for assembling inside the cylinder and the same I will do with a relief valve. First start with uh, screwing inside the cylinder with adapter because there is higher torque value and the next step you screw the pressure relief valve inside the adapter. You can have some leaking between these parts. So now I will show you how to remove this part. I'm using this nut. Here you can see the ceiling ring jet with small hole, next ceiling ring and there is filter. Now I will show you how to disassemble the valve from the cylinder. First, I will remove this foam ring. I'm using this tool to loose the oil valve. Here you can see old Teflon tape. So the three thing is without any pieces of the front tape. Now I will clean this three thing. Or if I need to replace this part, I will use new one. 
I clean the old teflon tape from the freezing. Now it's clean and I can wrap it with teflon tape. So now it's ready to be assembled back. And now I have to take care of the direction of this uh, side of the valve because the valve has to be in this direction. Now I will use torque wrench. And now you can see the direction of the three thing. If you had leaking between this part and the valve, you have to change the ceiling ring. You can have uh, another leaking here or here between these parts. In this case, you disassemble it, clean the three thing, wrap teflon tape and put it back and uh, tight with torque wrench. Now I put back the filter, jet with teflon ring. and start to tight. And now I finish the tightening. Make sure that uh, this end isn't higher than this uh, ring. You can have problem with leaking between a three thing or next problem can be closing the valve. So in these cases, you have to put new Teflon tape or replace all max fill valve. you can see old ever seal and now you have to brush the three thing on the Maxwell valve or if you will use new one the ever seal is already applied so you doesn't need to put new teflon tape in this case we put uh, the same inside I brushed the three thing and clean old ever seal. Just make sure that you have correct size of uh, this tube because different size of the cylinders have different length of the, this uh, tube. So wrap the Teflon tape on the three thing. You can see it should look like this. And now I can back to the cylinder. Use torque wrench and the takeoff has to be in this direction. And now it's safe to use and you can enjoy your flight. <laughs>